that's the Insta 361X3. Hey, I'm Fish. Thank you and welcome to the show. We're going to be talking about the Insta 361X3 today. And let's get going. Does the light bother you? Is it flashing in your eye? Move it around to the front. Be a lot better. Raise my camera up to be about chin height. The camera is shaking. We'll show you what the camera looks like, how I'm filming and shaking. Facing towards me and then turning around towards the front. We're coming to the Tunnel of Yellen. And you know what I do with the Tunnel of Yellen. Give a little shout. I uh, had the DJI Mic 2 hooked up to the Osmo Action 4. Yes. And now it says I'm connected to the X3 just by simply going into the AirPods. Now we're going to see how true that is. Now I'm going to step on back, walk a, a couple of distance, and come on over here and whisper. I like the idea how the camera starts off and a couple of seconds later doesn't matter about how fast it starts and records it gives you the chance to yes indeed start the operation I don't love the pole I got because it's dropping down every single time I am trying to get it to work correctly for me Weight is not the issue of being out there with the camera heavier. It's the mount that you have that doesn't do the job. If you take note on the boardwalk, the boards, how smooth the video is. This is me mode. I'm not sure if I even have it set up right and I thought it'd be a lot better than that well as I learn I'll come back to it later the problem is when the camera's on an angle it's showing everything facing up there and you should be able to adjust the screen to show you what you see here and that's why I do not understand why it looked that way and locked so I'll leave it on, you got it, me mode, and hoping that I'm in the picture than just seeing down here and below, that's all I see. It's amazing what weight can do and move things. Didn't I have to pair? It shows I'm paired, it shows everything is up and running. And the mic is blue as you can see. I am three feet from the camera four feet from the camera and I am going to start to walk back and you should hear me if I'm not yelling. Test one, one test two. This is a test. One, two, one, two. If I'm over here, that's about as far as I want to be from my camera with the microphone. Anything further back, it's not going to work out. All the shots are going to be in this radius. And I could simply walk around. It is best to say that if I'm over here, this would be the ideal distance. Two blocks, ten feet. Ten feet's all you need to be. As long as you have the whole view of the camera that you see your feet, you see your head, and something above you, and something on the floor. So there you have your video. So let's uh, turn my back around. Any interference? Check one, check two. No. So we're pretty good. Go look at the water and see what's happening. You're not going to see people fishing, the people swimming, and ships coming You get water and all. There you go. 
Now, if you would have taken note, the young lady walked right by the camera, and that's what I am showing you that it picks up everything, whatever you like. I hope you enjoy your 360 camera. It is a camera to be in your gear, not for everyday shots, but shots that you want to have. And if you want to show a 360 video online, is YouTube ready for the highest quality allowed in 360? And you are just going to dedicate yourself and watch 360 video? That's all up to you. I'm happy. Like I said, last day on sale. $349.99, not here to sell you, not here to tell you to get one, but it's up to you if that's a good buy or not for something that is now the model after the X4. You have the X2, the X3, and the X4. If you want to be 720p, 1080p, and 2K, that's all up to you. I'm happy I'm able to share this and up convert it to 4K and still make it look like it's an X4 in ways. I could put an X4 on it, don't need to. And on that note, I'm Fish and I catch up many other videos to come. The thing I like to do is protect my camera. Put my lens on and off I go. Oh, it won't shut off with the remote, not meant to. I have to hit that. If you want to shut it off with the remote, you've got to get all the accessories in the world. <laughs> the funny part about uh, my talk with the Insta360 ONE X3, I was on me mode, and that's single lens only, and you can't put it on the 360 lens. It'd be on a single lens and be with you. So everything that I just went through was like shooting with the action for and man let me tell you it's a camera that you don't want to bang around at the start and you have to be very careful about the lens as you can see i got the lens covers on all my videos are not with the lens guard and i'm not shooting with the lens guard and this is the early hour ride when i will go out in the morning hours and shoot and have fun. Like I said in earlier videos and scheduled videos, I want to get a camera that completes my gear. I have my primary camera, which is my Sony ZV-1 Mark II for all my reviews. It's not a camera I want to put on the bike and go out and walk and vlog and all that for the reasons of. It doesn't have a stabilization like the other cameras built in. You have to get to the program Catalyst Browser by Sony in order to improve the image stabilization. And that's where I love using my Sony Cybershot HX90V. And I never went to get the 99, which is 4K. And it does a great job and it's got excellent stabilization. Why Sony went backwards? Because they've taken a lot out of the camera and put it into everything else. Now, I have for action sports a GoPro Hero 10. I have a nine, an eight, a seven still. And am I going to go and get the latest GoPro Hero 13? Well, if it's got the fastest startup time, like the Action 4. And the Action 4 and Action 3 and Action's what I have. And I use now the Action 4 because it's my bike camera, my going out camera, my vlogging camera, my wee hours, everything. And I got the Pocket 3. And it's also an excellent camera, but it's like the Sony in many ways, but it's got the best stabilization on the market. A mechanical gimbal, but it blurs the background out if you are not three feet from the camera and it does a great job. And there's no way to fix the aperture. It's set, locked, 
and done. If they could give you the switch to switch it off, like the Pocket 2, then it'd be a great camera indeed. So I got all my cameras I like. In the future, in the fall, they're talking about the Action 5 and the Hero 13. Yes, I'm going to get one of them. I'm not sure which one. And yeah, it may be returned. But this is not my go-to camera in my gear to use it every day. I got it. If I do a review, I want to set it up and I want to walk around and show what I need to show. I got the one shot indeed set up on a tripod. If I want to go out for a bike ride, I'm going to do that. Now the thing is, maybe in my channel, I'm going to do things differently, but I'm only talking and I have to figure out and time comes by, it's not going to be better weather. It's going to be colder weather for me. One day, action four. The next day, the Hero 10. The next day, the Pocket 3. The day after, the X3. And the day after, a live stream. And maybe the next day, a combination of all except for a live stream. But I can do a live stream and show you in the video that I'm live streaming. So you get the idea of what it's about. The X3, an awesome device. You have to get accessories if you're really into it. Uh, the mounting system I have is not the best. I wouldn't put it on just a quarter 20 thread and hold it out there, but I would clamp it on and make sure I got it locked in there. And if I could have it just stay in one clamp position, well, that would be awesome. I said a lot on this video because my screen is off. And I didn't want to make this a long video. But my channel is not about just making a long video. My channel is about my life, me, and how I share it to the world. If you're looking for a short version of the video of an X3 review, I will try my best to get one out there for you. If you stick through, great, I appreciate it. But if you skip through, even better. Pick a spot you like, because YouTube puts chapters in and they do the best job they can. Nobody's gonna sit there and tell you to watch the whole. They're gonna tell you Thank you for sharing and thank you for stopping by. And that I do appreciate your time. So I am going to do my tests and get on out of here and finish up. Hook my mic up to the camera, do a range test, maybe up to the grass area or back there. That's far enough and off I go. I got seven in the queue. This is a Hemi mode. And Look at that. Hesitates, lags. I won't be able to do anything. I could probably put a keyframe here and it won't let me do a tiny planet on that. Not a big deal. And it is what it is, man. So if you're looking for an Insta360 camera, and just remember, this is what the outcome is all about, time. If you don't have time, it ain't the camera for you. And I'm shooting with, again, a DJI Osmo Action 4. I'll bring my clips in right here, and uh, they're done, and all I do is hit play. And I got a nice, smooth, playing video. And that's the 360 after render. Everything works out fine. I'm able to do the things I want to do. It's just unbelievable. Hope you enjoyed this review. I show things in the real way and hope that helped you out. Your machine, your struggles.